a nice used car sold somebody bought a deal <laughs> Let's get it in the trailer. We're kind of in the street, but uh, as long as we got flashing lights, I think we're okay, huh? Looks like a nice purchase. Oh my goodness, turn down the volume. And it's raining on like top of us. Let's get it in the trailer. Hurry, hurry. You guys, last time you helped me get the Ferrari in the trailer, this time, I'm telling you, look closely at the front. Tell me when to stop. Oh, I think that's a good place to stop. Tell me, look out the window. Look at the wheels, tell me where to stop. And make this lift gate go up faster, please. Should we hit the headlights on? Yeah, there we go. Let's do high beams. Is that high enough? Is that high enough? Tell me. So I can see. And then uh, let's do the mirrors. What do you think, guys? Is it going to click? hit the park and engine off done out of here and let's leave the keys out of my pocket okay coming in this beautiful midwestern neighborhood looks like uh, that's the house and We'll just back up over there where we're not blocking anybody's driveway. I'll just back up over there. What's that? I'll just back up over there so I'm not blocking anybody. Say it again. I'll just un open up over there so I'm not you blocking to anybody. Around that way? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. So this is the next transport of the day. I got a little YouTube channel okay. myself. Vander Hall with some custom exhaust, right? Custom exhaust, it's wrapped. Uh, some other stuff, tuned. How fast have you had this thing? Uh, you know, not, it says 120 maybe. That's quite, you don't want to go too crazy. That's quite a lot for- 120 uh, feels like 180. For having your elbow like yeah, exactly. right next to the road. Yeah. So, it's the transport of the day. Dear Super Dispatch, trying to haul this car, trying to kick on, click on the photo thing, and look what it's doing. It won't let me take photos. What do I do? Some of you are smarter than I with computers, and I may be a little bit smarter than you at driving like a three on the tree. So, please, why does it say take photos and then it won't click anything to take photos look click that that up down something the only thing you could do is click done but we're not done we're not even started so what do i do what do i do push advanced let's do that what does that do for us Nothing? Edit? No? My goodness. I don't think I could get any photos of it now. And just like that, 
Everybody kicked out, even the towel head. Towel head, gotta wake up. Gotta get those Ferraris delivered, you know. Oh my goodness. They had a lot of sleep. Right in my bucket, fill it up. Okay. So yeah, now I got water to wash my hands with. Just keep this here, look at that. It's your hands after you load a car. What do you think about that? Is that good? Is that smart? Good? at the delivery of this Ferrari. So yeah, we're just going to park in the middle of the street. Or kind of off to the side. Okay, just like this. I thought it'd be much busier, but I guess this is not bad. Maybe that's the guy. Okay, finally, getting down on the ground. Whew, it's been, it's hot, it's so hot. Good thing I got my towel so I could at least wipe my hands on that instead of Instead of, uh, God forbid, I touch some of this Alcantara leather. Right? Okay. Now back off slowly. Where's the hazards? There it is. bike lane with this with with the Mercedes but what can we do okay so I think that's it I think we kill it from here now come out take my shoes out all right, there he goes. And we are stuck in the middle of the street. Gotta put everything back in. This is why I don't like taking SUVs because you can only put them in a certain spot and you gotta keep taking them on and off the trailer. All right, guys, help me out. <clears throat> Let's get this G-Wagon in carefully. Look at those chunky tires, huh? Beefy tires.
So since we're in St. Pete, I thought I'd drive by my old client's building. He's got the YMCA building just across from this Wells Fargo here on 1st Avenue and 5th Street. So yeah, that's it, that the orange colored building. It's the original YMCA building. Many people that are retired men age now, uh, they've learned to swim in the swimming pool of that YMCA, so. It's a long project for him to restore it, so. It's kinda interesting. Um, I hope he gets it worked on soon. There it is. It's called the Edwards Building. I've been inside. Huh. This is probably one of my favorite rest areas. It's very Florida exotic and it's right next to the Gulf of Mexico I came out here many times it was a special place where I've paddle boarded from Let's get a closer view of the water. It's kind of not the cleanest looking car. Huh? So they rebuilt this rest area <clears throat> to make it up on the second floor so it wouldn't flood during a hurricane. It's kind of hurricane proof. So yeah, climbing up, it kind of gives you a little bit higher view. Never mind everything good I said about this rest area. The bathrooms are like worse than 1950s. With all this revamping and making it hurricane proof, I wouldn't mind flooding some of these restrooms. So yeah, it's the Skyway St. Petersburg rest area. And just like that, I'm home. I guess not for long. I still got to deliver all the cars. These brokers, they're driving me crazy. He's like, I'm not going to give you the client's number because he's a VIP client. And he's like, tell me when you're available and I can find out when he's available and then we can coordinate. Um, yeah. All clients are VIP clients. I could be like, you know, I give them a call a day in advance. Hey, sir, what's your schedule tomorrow or the day after? I think I'll be there in 24 hours. I'll give you an update in the morning. What's your situation? That's usually what I say. And they tell me, you know, I work at home or I'm working a nine to five or please get it here as soon as possible. 
I'll arrange it so my neighbor, my front doorman, my dog can receive the car, you know, something. I really want it, so I don't care how long it's taking. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, so here I am. These guys are like, can I sell you? My boss is like, no, we don't take sell. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You guys figure it out. I'm going to go have some dinner with basketball princess Dasha Yarameva. How have you been? Missing you. Missing me? You're working hard there with the videos. I try my best. Yeah. It's hot in Florida. It's like... It says 90 degrees on this thermometer. On the one in the truck, it said 94. And it's 6 p.m. It's not even the middle of the day. It's not even the middle of the day. But it's definitely getting rid of those sniffles I got from Minnesota being in the 50s. Sleeping with the window open. Babe, you're so used to Florida weather already. Your body. Yeah. I don't know. The heat is hot. <laughs>